Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at this. Now, this is going to be probably broken up into a couple pieces. Not quite a series, but this is sort of double duty. So, I printed this uh, manifold out on the Creality CR10. This is for my K40 laser. And basically what it does is it adapts the exhaust vent to a 3-inch um, flexible pipe, which will run into my evacuation system. But before I get there, what I really want to talk about is this and printing this. So I printed this on the CR-10, and before we really get into it, let's take a quick time lapse of this, or look at a quick time lapse. This took about 13 hours to print, so this was a, a fairly good-sized print job. So let's jump over to the time lapse, then we'll come back. Okay, so we've take, taken a look at the time lapse of the buildup of um, uh, creating this piece. Now, one of the things I sliced this in Cura, and uh, one of the things that happened was this infill. So I, I wanted a, a fairly solid form. So I allowed supports, and Cura really put in a lot, a lot of supports more than I thought. Because one of the things which I was a little bit surprised of because I had not taken a deep look at this um, uh, when I saw it on Thingiverse, is actually this base is reset. So you'll notice here that the designer uh, recessed the base. I'm not sure quite why they did that. What I'm going to do with this, though, uh, is I'm going to take this uh, fill material out, but what I'm going to do is then uh, put a gasket. Now, I did get some lifting through here, as you see on the front. The back was pretty good where I didn't have the piece coming over. Uh, but this piece here definitely pulled up as you can you can see so I'm gonna uh, once I take this material out once I fit it to the laser I'm going to warm it up a little bit with a heat gun as I press it into the slot on the laser and I'll have some um, images up to the side of, of it installed on the laser uh, because I probably do a series over on the laser actually for talking about this because I'm going to rework my uh, evacuation system a little bit and that'll be a future video for the K40 laser but I tell you what let's go ahead and take the um, uh, support material out and then take a uh, closer look at this with the support material out so by the magic of video I'm gonna click my fingers and the support material will be gone okay so, by magic, it's all gone. Well, not by so much magic. It was a little bit difficult removing it. It wasn't that easy, and I did get a little bit of delamination right here. I took the heat gun, and I kind of squished it back together, and I put a little a bit of epoxy. Um, that's not going to matter so much. The hose is going to go over there. <laughs> So I don't think uh, there'll be that big of an issue. Uh, I did clean up a little bit inside here. I'll probably do a little bit more cleanup. I'm not going to get too fancy because it's just an air duct. I also used the heat, heat gun to pull these back a little bit. Um, so all in all, it was, was pretty good. Now, I expected a little bit of delamination or potential of delamination. I was kind of hoping I'd get away with a little bit better. And I think if the... Uh, because on this side, you can see I've got a little bit too. So, uh, again, from the manifold design of this, uh, I think that's where uh, some of the challenges. Because one of the things, I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but sort of the, the strange looping action here as it comes in. It's almost like, um, you know, because of the way that the manifold is designed, it's kind of like tr uh, tree rings. And I think this is one of the... Um, challenges in the design with delamination and that's also kind of a little bit of the part of cleaning up some of the um, 
uh, supports in here. So I, I wish, I, you know, because I was a little bit hurry when I went to print this because I had to run out. I wanted to get it started and everything else. I wish I'd have looked a little bit more at the um, uh, support settings because I think it went a little bit overboard on the support settings. Now, I printed this, um, uh, you know, it's a, a 0.4 nozzle, so I printed it at a 0.3 layer height. Um, uh, you know, two two shells for the bottom and top, so 0 0.6 millimeters. Uh, I think about 20% infill, so there's not a lot of infill on this whole thing. And then, um, you know, shells are two, basically, so, you know, 0 0.8 millimeters. Um, you know, so I wanted it to be fairly sturdy, and it is. I don't know if I'd have lightened it up a little bit more, but a lot of times when you lighten it up on the shells and that, if you don't go at least two, um, you get a little bit of funkiness. Um, in, in uh, the end product. So anyways, I'm rather happy with this. I think it turned out okay. Um, it'll definitely serve the purpose. There's no, no question about it. It's just simply a duct that mounts on the back and I've, you know, put some, uh, you know, images up there to show how it goes on to the uh, laser cutter. I'm probably going to also paint this with an epoxy paint um, to prevent any future delaminations also. Um, so if you get like an epoxy paint, paint it. Now you do have to let this set up for like a day or two after you paint it with the epoxy paint uh, for it to really set up in the epoxy to cure um, in, you know, in fairly warm weather. But one of the things I found is when you do use the epoxy paint, uh, it really um, kind of fills in some of the striations as well as strengthens the whole piece. So I'm going to do it as white. So I did it in this funky off-colored red because I had it and it was cheap. I bought it from a, a Chinese vendor. And that's that's the other thing I should mention. This is rather cheap PLA. So so I paid around 10, 12 bucks a uh, kilogram for it. Uh, bought it out of China. And I use it for a lot of, you know, my larger prints where I really am not too particular. And also for a lot of the stuff I print for the channel that I basically just throw in a box when I'm done with it. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And again, I'll have more on this whole setup um, because there'd be another corresponding piece to this that mounts to the evacuator, uh, which you've seen in a prior video. So if you look at my K40 laser uh, playlist, you'll see all that. So I'm hoping this will do a little bit better job than what I get on there now because I'm do using a one and a half inch uh, outlet and it works okay. Uh, but I'm hoping going with the three inch that it really improves it. So anyways, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget Swag Shop's going to be up there. Uh, subscribe over there. Let me know what you're thinking. And again, since we're coming up into fall, so we'll be doing some more laser and CNC stuff too. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.